As you guys know, I've been working on the 2007 Sprinter Moto Van, and one of the posts that I made on Instagram was about how, hey, look, this wheel chalk from Pit Posse Racing and Pingle actually works in L Track. And L Track is one of the things that I've been trying to use as a recessed L Track on the floor of the van. So I said, hey, is there a way that I can use any of the L Track accessories to make a wheel chalk since there does, does not seem to be a good L Track wheel chalk out there? So I posted this to Instagram. It got me thinking, and this is the video of me making an L-Track wheel chalk. All right, pick up a couple parts from Home Depot. Got some steel there, some plated zinc. Got to cut that guy down and then file it to make sure that nobody gets cut because God knows that I have got baby soft skin. Measure it up and just kind of see if I can try to bend this stuff and keep some of my measurements. If anybody has a better way to do this, I would love to know it in the comments. This is all I could think of is using my vise, a hammer, and a punch every now and again to get it to where I needed it to be. I wish I would have had a smaller sledge hammer or something like that instead of just a hammer. But I had this, it worked, and here we are. This was awkward. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. And unfortunately, what I need to do to strengthen this up is over here, this needs to be longer. So I need to have more coming out here. And this needs to be deeper. Beep -boop, beep -boop, beep -boop. So back to the drawing board. This thing doesn't need to be perfect. It's steel. It just needs to be strong. So round two. Same idea, different measurements. Luckily, different outcome. And then the awkward drilling that comes when you don't really have a drill press. Actually, you do have a drill press, you're just too lazy to take it out. So you get out your hand drill and you just go to town. A little bit of lube and make it awkward. Kind of the first fit. What do you guys think? Looks like it might work, right? Apparently, the bolts that I got were too long. I knew this right away, but had to sort it out anyway. thinking hands and yeah three quarters of an inch too tall <laughs> oh no it won't move ah, what do we do what do we do what do we do well right now I don't know if it can move I would agree. All right, so it took me a minute to get it out, and I kind of couldn't figure out why, but if you notice, this guy and that guy over here are definitely not aligned. So the holes that I drilled, which were the holes that were pre-drilled on this thing, were not square. So what I would need to do is make sure that the holes on, on the actual chalk itself are square this way so that the line of these guys actually will work all the way across. Son of a bitch, so close. Yep, poor manufacturing has screwed me. That's what you get for buying a $20 chalk. I punched out a spot to try to see if I could get this hole be a bit bigger and I can get them to line up and just kind of keep testing the theory. Let's we'll see what happens. I originally thought I needed two inch bolts for this, but obviously I was wrong. I just wanted to use that to see if I could get it sorted out. Obviously that is, so I need to go get one and a quarter length bolts um, and then use washers as needed to kind of set it. So you can see one washer underneath the little steel plate that I made, and that is to help keep some space there so that it doesn't pinch so it's easy to get going. I also need to make some little lifters back here so that this guy has just a tad bit of support. But I've got stuff ready to go for that. So let's find some more bolts and see if we can get this thing cleaned up a little bit. I've got the double stud L-Track mounts that are threaded here with a 3 8 one and a quarter inch fine threaded bolt. So both of these, I've got a couple nylon washers in there just so it's not metal on metal. It's just enough clearance so that when you pull both of the double studs, 
that releases, you can remove it from there and then you can put it in, push it and move it forward. Now, the goal back here, of course, is to, uh, this is the recessed mount. You can see is, is this, this, so it can fit about a 5 sixteenths piece of plywood underneath here. So even if I did put a piece, even if I did put a bolt back here to then mount this statically back here, it wouldn't be the right height because eventually there's going to be, this is going to be recessed with the floor. But I think I'm going to make one more of these and then I will install them in the Sprinter. But I wanted to show you guys what I created, um, you know, using a $20 part from Amazon. This very cheap um, wheel chalk, a uh, piece of steel from Lowe's, a couple bolts that are fine threaded to match the double studded guys. Of course, the links will be in the description for all of this stuff if you wanted to try to create your own to work for the L track. But it's uh, since the E track and the X track and some of those other tracks have their own wheel chocks, I thought L tracks should as well. So here you go. Tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. And remember, the Moto Van build will continue. So watch the playlist if you want to see what we did before. Subscribe to the channel for more Moto Van videos. We're going to start doing riding videos again here soon. So thanks. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And definitely ask questions in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.